Right, uh, an object of mass m 3 kilogram is attached to one end of a string with negligible mass uh, and the length of 0.8 meters. The object is then released from rest at t equal to 0 when the string is horizontal at n t equal to t1. The object is at the location shown in the figure when the string is vertical, which defines most clearly the magnitude of the tension in the string at time t equal to t1. So it is obviously performing a circular motion, right, because it is connected to the string and this is how it is going and this is how its speed is this is the tension and this is mg which is just three times g it's not three grams it's three g g is the acceleration due to gravity all right and this is the velocity that we do not know this is the radius of the circle so uh, circular motion concept suggests that the net centripetal force is given by mv square over r the net centripetal force in this situation at time t equal to t1 will be the force acting towards the center minus the force acting away from the center and that has to be equal to m which is 3 v that we do not know over r which is 0 0.8 assuming g as 10 uh, it will be t minus 30 equal to 3 v what is 3 over 0.8 is that a nice number 3.75 not as nice but okay i'm gonna write 3.75 v square uh, all right but unfortunately i cannot really solve for v unless i have sorry I, for, I cannot solve for tension unless i have the velocity and we are going to find the velocity using energy conservation because the mechanical energy at point a and the mechanical energy at point b is conserved uh, they are not talking about air resistance and unless otherwise stated we are just going to ignore it uh, so at a if i'm going to take this as a reference at a the uh, how many energies are involved i think no energy because at a mechanical energy at a is basically the kinetic energy at a which is zero and the potential energy at a which is also zero and there is no spring of course so these are the only mechanical energies at b it has a kinetic energy of half mv square i don't know what v square is and there is a potential energy which is mg h but remember that height is negative over here so i'm just going to sub in these numbers so that's half m is three kilogram v i do not know m is 3 g is 10 and height is negative 0.8 because it is below the reference so that's what we need to um, take care of so it's gonna make some space over here okay uh, times 0 0.8 so let me just 3 over 2 is just 3 over 2 or i can write 1.5 v square uh, 10 times 0 0.8 is 8 8 times 3 is 24 oh oops i kept saying negative and i forgot to write negative I'll just write it real quick. This is negative 0 0.8, uh, 8 is minus 24, all right. And mechanical energy is conserved, right? So this initial, this final energy should be equal to this initial energy, which means that 1.5 V square minus 24 should be equal to zero. So 1.5 V square should be 24. So V square should be equal to 24 divided by 1.5, which is 16. I have no interest in taking square root because I need v square over here. So finally, I'm going to sub that in over here. So it will look like 3 minus 30 is equal to 3.75 v square is 16. Let's plug everything in the calculator and we think we should have our answer, which is 90 Newton over here. That's what I'm getting as the number. So that is the tension at the bottom. That was a good question.